Coming up right now, it's the rise of the influencer bride. How many are putting a unique spin on the traditional wedding party? Also coming up, talk about the worst name ever. <laughs> How one mom is struggling to change her newborn's name after she was trying to test the system. A little bit later, the man in charge of the Fox News empire is stepping down. Wait until you hear about how much he's getting just to retire. Daily Flash starts right now. Get ready for trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash with your host, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. The fun starts right now. This is Daily Flash. Hey everyone, I'm Andrea Jackson. I'm Andrea Jackson. Yes. And I am Mitch English, and uh, we also have the lead singer of ACDC here today. Brian, how are you? So I'm glad to have you here. here. I see, I see what you're doing yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Matt and I, you look like a drama teacher. I, yeah, Matt and I, every morning, drama when teacher. we come in, for, well, for the longest time you were coming, I look like the, uh, what was this, the manager of a Sears uh, men's yeah, you look like Yeah, you look like uh, the manager of a Sears that's going out so, of business six oh, months ago. So, so we're going back and forth on that. I hope you guys are ready to have yeah. some fun. I think I am. What about you, Jackson? I am. Have you heard? Heard about this new dating show, Naked Attraction? Yes. Okay, I watched this okay. thing yesterday. Right. And I in, gotta tell you. What's oh the deal? What's my. the premise? So here's the deal: you get you get singles on, right? You got the one single. It's based on an Australian dating show, and then you've got six other participants. So let's say you got the guy. He's got six women to choose from. They are all naked. And they stand behind a glass colored oh, panel okay, okay. and they slowly reveal body parts all the way up. And then the person who's looking for their next love of their life goes through each one and criticizes or compliments body parts. I mean, you yeah. see everything and they do a full 180, Listen, the whole shebang. This, this, and, yeah. this reminds me of when how guys walk out into the ocean, okay? <laughs> Because there's a point where we stop, and that's what I go. All right, that's it. No more. I'm yeah. out of this game. <laughs> I mean, you see, it's the most really? bizarre thing. And then the host of the show was, oh, do you like this and that? Oh, do you like that and this? And oh, what about that bit? Do they, do they ask for angles? Or oh, they like, yes. hey, drop a penny oh, yeah, and let absolutely. me get, let me see what's going some, on there? Some have to bend over. Some have to. Oh, it is the most bizarre thing. So then the person who's looking for the date has to get naked. And then the once she finally picks the one she wants to go with, or he does, then um, they both have to go over each nope. other and discuss body parts then they go out on a date fully clothed what's well, the point of that? that yeah what's the There's point, no of, that? point <laughs> of the date to get to the naked part yes like, it's all backwards it's backwards anyway uh it's called uh, uh, the name again naked, naked, attraction, naked attraction on max it's, oh, it's on Max. Okay. And they they have a huge disclaimer. Tell Mitch you know, answers his beginning. door though. So, saying, I mean, this, there's a disclaimer. There's a huge disclaimer saying. My disclaimer full would be. Full frontal nudity. Objects and mirror appear at <laughs> once. <laughs> uh, alrighty, flower girls. We all know them. They're at every wedding, right? However, there's one bride. She said, "Listen, I'm gonna put my own spin on the sweet flower girl trend by introducing the fireball girl." Fireball. Fireball. The bride switched things up by having her wedding walk down the uh, aisle, throwing out many bottles of the cinnamon-flavored whiskey. It's known as Fireball. She also added the caption, best decision I ever made on her social media video, featuring unique twists on the wedding party. I say, why not? Uh, you get them ready for the reception afterwards. Absolutely. Just, uh, I, and that's the beautiful thing about a wedding, is that it just seems like uh, up until, I don't know, this generation at least, they always thought, well, you have to do this in a wedding, you have to do this. Yeah. A wedding, you can be whatever you want. Matt, you're getting ready for it. I mean, what, what, what are you the, handing out? What Leah wants the pretty party, so we're doing the pretty party. Uh, we don't well, you're going to be there, right? So I, 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 I think I'm going to show party? up. Oh, I guess on. I'll be there. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, my, you know my crew. It's going to be a bunch of random acts of stupid anyway, so I don't need to add fireball to the pre-show. So she wants traditional, but you'd be okay to do your own thing on the Yeah, I'd be, I don't care. I want. I mean, I wanted to go to Vegas and have Carrot Top marry us. That, that, awesome. was, that was my that would be pitch. Nice. But. That would be kind of cool. I had one thing, and I told her early on. I said, I got to have a Burt. Burton Leon Reynolds as my uh -huh. MC and, and Matt graciously played yeah. Burt Reynolds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Burt Reynolds, the uh, big hat. And, <laughs> and we all wore black framed for, that, glasses for Mitch <laughs> in honor of him. And when he turned around, he had no idea what was going on. That was on. my in laws did that. They great. went and bought black, black framed glasses for everybody. And I turned around and I get, they go, and Hugo, who, uh, our, our EP here, who, he married us. And uh, he said, Mitch, look. And I'm like, what? What am I looking <laughs> I didn't at? Get it. And I looked around and I realized everybody, everybody had my black frame glasses on. I was like, that is so awesome. But you know, you you get a pass, obviously, your wedding day. There was a lot more going was, on. Girl. <laughs> you noticing? 
my Flat frame glasses. <laughs> my DJ smells so good. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's not start with that. My guy. wife almost walked down the uh, aisle to Fancy by Reba McIntyre. No, it Because he played the wrong music. And it turned into us singing it for her. Yeah, which was <laughs> it was. We had fun. Uh, a journalist from Australia thought it would be fun to test the country's baby name registry for a story. So she submitted the most ridiculous name she could think of. ABC reporter Kristen Drysdale legally named her newborn son, get this, Methamphetamine Rules. Well, now she's working overtime to change it. Here's what we know. Drysdale was working on a story about what parents are legally allowed to name their children in Australia. She never thought the name methamphetamine rules would clear the system. Right. If a name doesn't get the green light, the agency sends an approved name. But the name got through the censors <laughs> and was even printed on the official birth certificate. In a statement from the registry, the office said, while an unusual name has unfortunately slipped through, they will work to correct the name in consultation with the parents. Well, how would you like to know that? Like you, uh, they will change it, but yeah. one day that they're going to have to really come out and say, "Hey, look, you know, your real name when was you methamphetamine." Your name, yeah. That's going to be attached to it for the rest of your life. Kind of cool though, but kind of not cool at the same time. But she, listen, she was a, uh, a reporter and she went all in. She's like, "I'm pregnant, so let's try to figure it out. Let's see what happens." And uh, sometimes that the gamble didn't pay off for her. It backfired. But we talked about it. Yeah. They have filters on fantasy football names that you can't do stuff like Madden that. Madden football wouldn't let me uh, make right. my team the same way. So. All right, one team that's making a big change as far as their head coach, Rupert Murdoch, the founder and outgoing chairman of the Fox Corporation, is set to receive, just in pension benefits, $142 million. That's all part of his retirement. He's 92 years old. He'll have a lifetime to spend it, too. <laughs> Three, four. Uh, uh, he is the media mogul. He obviously accumulated his pension uh, during his six-decade career, so he is well worth that. He earned it. Murdoch announced that he would step down in November after building at one of the largest, most influential media companies in the world, including Fox News, the top watch cable news channel. Now, when he retires, he's going to hand the reins over to his eldest son, Lachlan, and in a note to his employees, uh, Murdoch, who will remain on, uh, chairman, said that he will still be actively mm -hmm. involved. If you want to find out this and everything that happened, just watch Succession. <laughs> it's on... <laughs> On Max, on I think Max. it is, yes, right? No, yes. which they said is really based on it. Hey, six six decades is a long time. I know. And to c consider the work that that man has done, and he's I'll now 92, yeah. and he still wants to work every single day. And he said, look, I will continue to watch all of the shows. I will make notes. I will be calling into the control room. So even though he's going to be emeritus, that's his status, sort of retired but still working, he's still going to have his hands yeah. very involved. I, I like the guy. Yeah. No, no, no we got to make fun of him because, yeah. He makes more money than I do. We go now to Idaho, where a man there with more than 250 Guinness World Records attempted to add another title to his name by catching 22 tennis balls. We got those tennis balls ready here in one minute. David Rush, he is actually ended up with a total of 22 catches. That exceeds the previous record of 19. Isn't that incredible to catch that many? Well, Evidence from the attempt must now be reviewed by the officials, so we will see that. Turned around, look at that, all together. So, so I'm going to try to throw some, some balls okay. here, some tennis balls, to our correspondent, Matt Doolittle, to see if he can catch 23 balls in one minute, and we'll see if we can break David's rules, all right? So here we go. Here's our tennis balls. I'm going to stand over this way. Okay. And again, Matt, now you saw how this works. Yeah. You know, I had no idea it did that. Oh, yeah. Do you play you tennis? Did, no, no. No. Yes, I do play tennis. My son plays it, so I, he doesn't know I took these. But, okay, so, so I'm going to stand up here, I think, right, okay. and I'm roughing, and you okay. guys are... So I need to put this set next to me. This. All right, Matt, and have you done any practicing? I have not, this so I'm, I'm winging this. Let's All see. right, here okay. we go. Here All righty, uh, so I'm going to... On your marks, get right, well, set. Here we go. Go. One. Okay. Two, keep, two. Matt, we got to do it in 32. <laughs> I'm going to... Hey, tell me, put your hands together. There we go, and I'll aim for that. Here we go. There you go. Hold on. Okay, this is... Is he catch and release? Is I that what it is? He got one. So there far. you go. Here we go. One. All right. Uh, come on. Come on. Uh, 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 here we go. All right. I'm going to try to get, get backboard. You can get one. Literally, your backboard. Okay. Oh, come okay, on. Ready? No. All right. This is not going well. No. This is, uh, this is a little bit harder than we thought it would be. We found ourselves in an awkward position. This might be one of the weirdest. Yes, this is odd. Matt's, really usually, strange. Matt's used to this, except handcuffs are involved. Yeah, it's handcuffs <laughs> and a donkey. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, no. right, right, right. Here's one. Oh my goodness. You can drop it when I'm really trying okay. to cheat on this and find these, but okay. I, can't, I cannot find it. Oh, 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 tear, oh. Tear, tear. There we go. Oh, I think we're almost out of time. Uh, we got about 40 seconds. 40 seconds. This is okay. harder than it looks. Yeah. Matt, uh, there you go. Uh, uh, Back. I'm, uh, oh, okay. We're not, we're we're not, not breaking, breaking any record, record with this one. I don't think so. Today. You can drop it once you catch it. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, we 30 go. seconds left in this entire right. block. <laughs> All right. Matt, here we go. That's and it. What, what was the score? Matt, one more, one more, one more. Here we go, uh, one more. Uh, oh, right on. Four. A total of four. Four. We're going to regionals at least. We're going to re you know, we should really try to do that somewhere downtown and see what looks we get. Can you juggle? Do you know how to juggle? Here. I don't I don't know how to juggle. I can uh, one juggle. Stay with us, one. more daily flash. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Mitch English here. It looks like a miracle is happening in East Texas. And one man who has what some say would be a Herculean strength is all willing to bring it all to light. While they weren't much good at actually finding or drilling for oil, they both possessed an unusual facility for convincing people that they could do just that. Oil! I've never felt it so strong in all my life! Widows were the mother's milk of the petroleum hustle. Love is not time's fool. And now that they had a well, it was time to hit every widow they could find in a three-county radius. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one and only Kevin Sorbo, Mr. Hercules himself. Hercules, how are you, man? I'm great, man. I'm on the road promoting this movie. I'm in beautiful Kansas City right now. Make me see a little skyline behind me in my Marriott Hotel. And I'm just uh, <laughs> on the road. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to help me promote this amazing family PG rated movie right. uh, that's based on a true story. So I hope people will check it out when it comes out next month. Miracle in East Texas, uh, what's it about? We have so much to talk to you about. So we want to talk about this movie first. W what is this, sure. the, the flick, all about? Tell us about it. It's a true story set in 1930s about two con men, played by myself and John Ratzenberger, who you saw there on that little clip. And you heard the voice of John Lou Gossett Jr. in the background there. Right. He narrates it, saying he does such a great job. These guys would go through Oklahoma and Texas in 1930, right in the heart of the Depression, wooing widows out of their money on fake oil wells. They would sell 500% of the share shares, declare dry hole, move to the next town. Well, they get to Kilgore, Texas, and completely by accident, they strike oil, and it's the largest oil find in the history of the world. <laughs> wow. um, it's a great, it's a, we've won 10 film festivals, everything from best romantic comedy to best faith movie to judges' favorite, audience favorite. It's a wonderful PG rated movie. Comes out in theaters October 29th and 30th. It's a Fathom event. And if people know about Fathom, they help independent movies like ours get into theaters. And the only way we get more days is that people support movies like this. Like they did my movies on Soul Surfer and God's Not Dead. We need word of mouth to get these things out there. I don't have a $100 million advertising budget like Hollywood does for their Pirates of the Caribbean $300 million movies. So right. we need word of mouth. And if we fill these theaters up, then people uh, will get more days. And right now, people can go to sorbostudios.com, sorbostudios.com. They can click the link that shows exactly, put in their zip code, shows where the theaters are showing in their neighborhood, and they can buy tickets right now. So we're hoping that we got to find a good family movie because people all stop me and say, I love the movies. We wish we had more like it. Well, here it is because Hollywood's not making them, as you know. You said a family uh, movie where, you know, and, and you're seeing less and less of those in Hollywood, Hollywood where everybody could watch it. But this is a family movie in another sense, too, because your wife also uh, co-stars in it, right? Uh, do you, you, you all do a lot of projects together. Was this any different? No, I mean, we, you know, we met back in the Hercules years. I mean, Hercules for me was a great dating service as a single guy. <laughs> <laughs> we always had a pretty woman every every two weeks was shot, but when she came down, it was all over for me. And we've been married 25 years with three kids, and uh, uh, proof in the pudding that there's love at first sight. But she's uh, she's brilliant. She uh, produces my movies with me, and uh, we got I got a, uh, four other ones in post production right now. So I'm staying busy, and uh, you know it's it's just a great uh, business partnership. You know, uh, you want eyes on this film. Is there one thing in there that if people blink, they might miss it in this film that you definitely want them maybe to look out for? Well, you know, every movie I do, I also throw in a Hercules reference. So it's it's pretty funny when it happens about three quarters of the way through. But I also help people stick around for the end because we have an amazingly funny outtakes. Oh, great. Uh, John Ratzenberg was such a, such a thrill to work with. Uh, Tyler Maines in it for people in the WWF world. He was a big wrestler back in the 80s and 90s. He also plays Jason in the horror movies, and he's Sabretooth in X-Men. Uh, he did a fantastic job. And the local casting we got up there in uh, Calgary, Canada, was well, they were just fantastic. Hey, uh, you know, since we talk about uh, John Ratzenberger, was, you know, we think of him as his character from from Cheers. Was he, you know, giving you trivia stuff, all, you know, when the, when the cameras were rolling the whole time? Did, is I, it really like that? I actually met John. I did an episode of Cheers back in their last season, back in like 1991 or whatever it was. I had two lines in it, 
But um, John and I like done two movies together, and John is John is hilarious. But people also know him from Pixar. The kids know oh, that's him true. from all the Pixar movies. He's the voice in every Pixar movie, from The Fish and Nemo, The Truck and Cars, The Pig and Toy Story. I mean, the guy, the guy is just great. But he was so easy to work with. And we did a movie called What If uh, that I highly recommend from people. It's the same writers that did God's Not Dead. In my book is a better movie, so I got to give a plug for What If. <laughs> all right, I like that. Not only are you doing movies uh, that many is, is set up and ready to go, but uh, you got a book out. What is it? What's it all about? Tell us. The book. The book just came out. It's with Bray Books. Go to BrayBooks.com. It's called The Test of Linehood. And uh, my book is really about letting kids grow up to be kids. Let boys grow up as boys. Let them decide where they want to be in their lives as they get older. Hopefully, they have a very strong family unit. They got a strong father to help them be strong, uh, strong kids growing into strong adults. And yeah. Uh, it's just, it's a great, great book. I hope people check it out. Braybooks.com. It's a wonderful story. There's no bashing of any groups in there, but the craziness of our world. It's just, you know, let kids be kids. Because I think we're doing a lot of things through public education, through government, that we're confusing kids at young ages now. And to me, it's crazy. Let let kids be kids. You know, uh, Fox News, you did an article about that. Speaking of just that thing, uh, I mean, are you getting a lot of slack from Hollywood because of this? I mean, you were on social media trending uh, just this past I week. Well, well, I get slack from Hollywood all the time. They booted me out over 10 years ago. My manager and agent said, well, they couldn't work with me anymore because I'm a Christian and a conservative. And I, I had to laugh because this is an industry that screams for tolerance and freedom of speech. But you know, as I know, it's a one-way street and the hypocrisy of Hollywood is just as bad as the hypocrisy in Washington, D.C. So I'm going to keep telling the truth. I realize truth is kryptonite to these people, but um, I know that most of the countries on my side and they think the same way I do. And I'm here to wake up the sign of the majority. And I think that's the word line is in the book uh, from Brave Books because we need to wake up the lions. We got to stop being afraid of being censored because you know, the truth is the only thing that really matters out there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we got we got to fight in our hands. we got a culture battle to win. As uh, comedians will agree with you, too, you censor the the, uh, the way uh, different viewpoints. You're, you're only looking one way. And I appreciate what your comments are. The movie, it's called Miracle in East Texas. It, uh, we'll have links on our website at dailyflashshow.com. You can check that out. And if you want more, of course, it'll be there, this interview, and so much more. Our website, dailyflashshow.com. The movie is called Miracle in East Texas. Kevin Sorbo, always glad to have you here on the show. We'll have more Daily Flash coming up right after this. Don't you go anywhere. We're going to have a lot more fun. You're watching this trending news and information. Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Andrea Jackson <laughs> along with Mitch English. It's time for doing it Ooh, with yeah. Matt Doolittle. Oh. What you do for us, Matt? You know, here we are. <laughs> we are in the midst of doing it. And what is the main story around the world right now? Of course, mm. It's superstar Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah. Not yeah, yeah. officially, unofficially dating star tight end of the Kansas City Chiefs, Travis Kelsey. Let's talk about let's it, why don't let's, we? Because everybody else is. Well, you know, he, here he is. He's a great football player. And now he's dating an international global superstar. She has sold out more arenas than he could ever even think about <laughs> filling as a football player. I mean, she even said no to the Super Bowl. Wow. And he's been there three times and has two <laughs> rings. And she's like, I'm good. I'll just I'll sit up here and watch you now. This has been the biggest story in the world. They're putting out things on social media now for Swifties to understand what football is and how it goes through there. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh. They're social media darlings. He's great as far as an interviewer goes. They look happy. For God's sakes. She's in the booth with his mom, oh, yeah. it's partying and hanging and, and, and cheering for his touchdowns. Patrick Mahomes <laughs> is such a wingman. He threw her, him a touchdown at the end of the game just, just to make her happy. How nice is that? You right? know, I'm all for it. <laughs> I'm for them. I see wedding bells in the future. I'm hoping it happens like this. It's very funny when celebs get together. We see the money, the time, the coordination to put this together. But why? Why go through? Her shoes were described online and the price for them went from 140 bucks to $500 and wow. they were basic new balances. <laughs> they were changing the name of what he was wearing. You know, they, they're buy, selling out all of his clothes. All She bought out an entire restaurant for them to go out to dinner for in nice. Kansas City. She paid for the entire restaurant so everybody would leave. <laughs> so this is obviously the biggest story in the world right now, but you know what? Good on you, Travis. There you go. You do it, <laughs> Travis Taylor. Everyone here at Daily Flash wishes you the best. We want the invite. I'll invite you to my wedding, please. Okay. Just don't let him blow out his leg and you have to sing a song about the right end <laughs> side penguin flamingo out with a right cut song after you guys break up, because it's gonna happen. Yeah. Travis, 
You are doing it. This is my favorite story in the world, guys. What do you guys think? Of I can love we, it. Can we send them to the border? Because maybe that'll help to yeah. bring more attention to I, what's going on. Yeah, it, 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 that 100%. It, she needs to be dating cancer. Why? Because then we'd have a cure, right? We'd have a cure. People would be paying attention. <laughs> right, exactly. Paying attention, putting money into it, flying all over. This is insane what happened. People were following them like they were the royals in Kansas City, because Travis has, of course, a convertible that they're driving around Kansas City and people are just like, well, there's there's but Taylor they are Swift kind and of Travis Royals. Kelsey. If you think about it, he's a football player. She's a pop but, star. It's a perfect combination. But Kansas City Royals is a baseball team. True, yes. So you gotta yeah. keep that in mind. That's probably why. She needs to play a baseball <laughs> player. It's, it's it's just insane how much we invest in this. But hey, again, I'm all George for Brett, it. it crapped his pants again. <laughs> In Kansas City. Did you ever see that? No, I didn't. Google it. Google oh, it. Man. Careful. Okay. Careful if you get anything he tells yeah, you to Google. Be careful. True. Google it. I'm telling you. All right, Maddie, thank you. Well, with the help of AI, cyber criminals are creating more personalized scams. So, how can you protect yourself? Tech columnist Jennifer Jolly has a look at the new tools to help prevent AI phishing scams. Thanks so much for having me. You know, there are so many new AI-aided cyber scams coming at us. It kind of feels like that Keanu Reeves character in The Matrix, you know, when he's dodging all those bullets in slow motion. That is what it's like trying to fend off the dozens of scams now coming at us from every angle, including emails, text messages, fake phone calls, the latest social media scams. Americans get hit with an average of a dozen scams every single day. Most of these are forms of phishing scams. When they come via text though, it's called smishing, and two thirds of people report getting hit this way in the last year, including many who lost thousands of dollars as a result. Let's take a look at some of the most common among these smishing scams. It's that you've won a prize message, texts about purchases you didn't make, fake missed deliveries or problems with delivery notifications, even those bogus Amazon security alerts. Whatever you do, don't click on them. McAfee Labs told us they uncover about 150 new AI scam threats every single minute. Do not engage. These scams are trying to create a sense of urgency and get you to click on them or engage. The best thing to do is just assume they are all all scams when they come in with that urgency and, and that message to do something, click on something or else. McAfee is also the latest tech company to add an AI-powered tool to its arsenal against this next-gen cybercrime. It's called AI Scam Protection. It just launched this week, but I've been reviewing it in beta. The way it works is it scans, analyzes, and either blocks or warns you in real time when it detects malicious links. It can stop you before you click on them by sending you an alert, or if you accidentally do click on one, the new scam protection proactively blocks that site from loading. McAfee told us that they've already identified and categorized a half a billion sites. This is free if you already use McAfee, free for anyone else to try out for a week. Then it starts at around $30 a year or $3 a month and works across devices. Head to my website at techish.com for more information. Back to you. If you don't recognize the number of the name, likely a scam. More than likely. Yeah, yeah, yeah and always check it. No, yeah. they, they are so good at it mm -hmm. nowadays, too. I mean, we don't feel bad if you fall victim, yeah. but be prepared Have for it. Have you seen any good movies lately? Uh, I'm, not, I'm waiting for The Exorcist Ooh. movie coming out. And if you are as well, we're going to take you into the kitchen so that maybe you can have a little uh, before movie drinks. And you're going to like some of these. The That's all Exorcist up. inspired cocktails, right? Yep. Is that what it is? That's exactly what Ooh. it is. Well, have that coming up. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hey everybody, hi, I'm Mitch English. And I'm Andrea Jackson. This is Daily Flash, your source for trending news and entertainment. We have got uh, some good stuff coming up uh, this half hour. You don't want to miss out on it. Get, you, uh, some, get ready for a big movie coming out. We'll have some drinks. Maybe you can try it at the next party. Uh, Chat GPT. Have you, have you tried it and done anything nope. with it? it? I mean, nope. it's truly amazing and scary all at the yes. same time. Open AI, they're the ones that basically have kind of brought this pushed AI it and the pushed forefront. right. And so they have the thing called Chat GPT that you can go to. Well, for their newest subscribers, they're telling them that they have have a update that's going to come out that's going to now allow ChatGPT to read, see, and talk 
to you. Okay, yes. one step closer to, for the robots to take over. The all right, robots. and here's what they're saying you can do. So uh, basically, you, in front of your camera, you yeah. could say, take a picture of your refrigerator, let's okay. say, and it will tell you, okay, you can make this, this, and then give you recipes on how to make it as well. Okay. And, and just by looking at a picture, and it could talk to you at the same time. They're saying that afterwards, you can maybe take your kid's uh, homework assignment and put it up to the, the screen or send the picture in, and it'll give you hints on how you can make it better, but Hence we all know it's going to be answers, answers right? Yes. So they're saying, right now, it's only for those who subscribe to it, so if you go buy casually and check it out, you're not going to be able to do it, but it is just one more step closer, and this is what is released. So imagine what they have. What they, they already have in the can. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, it's freaking me out. Now I also heard, and I don't know if this is verified or not, that with the voices, because now that it can talk back to you, you can actually choose a few different celebrity voices in order for that voice to talk to you. Yeah, and you know, and this has a lot to do with uh, the writer strike and the actor yes. strike because they're saying. Some studios are saying, we're just going to take your image and your voice and we own it forever. And you would not get anything out of it. And right now, that's the way it's set up. So it's kind of scary, but neat at the same time. This technology confuses and amazes me. <laughs> I'm going to err on the side of scary. I think that's scary. Just me. I'm always going to stay six. Yeah. Scary. Flower girls have been a long tradition at weddings. However, one new bride decided to put her own spin on the sweet flower girl trend by introducing the fireball Fireballs. The bride switched things up by having her wedding party walk down the aisle, throwing up many bottles of the city cinnamon flavored whiskey known as Fireball. She added the caption, best decision I ever made on her social media video featuring her new twist on the wedding party. I think it looks fun. I say why not? Yeah. <laughs> that dress, she needs to be careful doing that. <laughs> 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 I was telling that. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you got to see it or not. Uh, why not? It's your wedding, it's your day. It sure. make it memorable. It, it's gonna make the reception better if people a little bit torn, but don't be surprised. Like. It, People yell out during your wedding. You well, know, this is true. So Anyone here to too? Yeah. If you're gonna have some, uh, I'm skipping that part. You, you can't. Are? You can't ask that at mine. So he's, you can't. Matt's gonna tell Jack. me to arrive a half hour late. I know that's what he is. I'm my guy. I'm gonna be the guy that's gonna yell out free burger. Or something. <laughs> All right. So this is Australian journalist. She was pregnant. She goes, you know what? I need to do a story. Why not do a story about how the country names their citizens, basically. And so you have to register when you have a child to basically their name. ABC reporter Kristen Drysdale legally wrote down when she had her child, because she was a, a reporter and she was pregnant, and gave her son the name Methamphetamine Rules Drysdale. Woo! Well, usually if the state doesn't approve it with these crazy names, yeah. they'll assign a name for yeah. you. So she went and find out, okay, well, what name? She was testing the system. Right. Well, come to find out, they're like, okay, yeah, methamphetamine rules it is. Now she's like, oh crap, that's my kid's name. What am I gonna do? She's working now to be able to get out of it and change her son's name. If you were named something like that, Think about that. I've uh, been stuck with Doolittle my whole life. You think that's been easy? My, well, well, much easier than methamphetamine rules. I think that's better. <laughs> yeah, think about that. Uh, my my original name, believe it or not, I happened to me, it was No Speak It Up. And <laughs> speak It in English. <laughs> Two know your shows not like that. Yeah. Very much. Uh -huh. uh, but but it has a cool story going on. Do up, you I guess. wonder though if this is part of like the woke culture when somebody saw that and they thought, oh, maybe that's you know we should tread lightly on that because maybe, maybe. they want to name their kid that. We don't want to insult anybody. I think it has anybody. something to do with it. Oh goodness I think it gracious. has something to do with it. That's Absolutely. Out. Hey, we got more fun stuff. We're heading into the kitchen when we return. So Jeff got a great idea for you for the season coming up. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> I don't know. I think that if she's gonna name, her, if she's gonna test the system, I would I'd would've... stick with it. <laughs> I, I guess well. it's not it's not offensive enough. I mean, yeah, yeah I don't true. Know about I mean, that. It's probably, they probably go for like you know hard square ones. I would, well, yeah. So maybe that one. Yeah, not just bad. like drug names. Like who's actually gonna name that name? Fifty years ago, the most terrifying horror film in history hit theaters, shocking and scaring audiences all around the world. Is it back? You better be a believer. Don't be scared. We've met before. <laughs> Are you looking for Reagan? Are you looking for Reagan? Oh. <laughs>
Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, in honor of this scary movie, which comes out on October 6th, we wanted to celebrate in a different way how you ask. Well, you guessed it, with drinks. Yes. Joining us now is Chef Yvonne. We love it when you arrive yes. because you bring goodness. What well, are you making for us what today, you mixing up? So today we are making the exorcist drink. And for our friends who are not drinkers of okay. alcohol, so for the exorcist drink, what you're going to do is you're going to use uh, one bunch of basil, half a lemon, half a lime, a little bit of simple syrup, uh, two ounces of gin. We also have absinthe. Okay. And our secret ingredients is egg whites. So egg whites. Really? Okay. Yes. So, All right. right. Uh, Andrea here, I'm going to start you beating the egg whites. Okay. And right before you do that, I'd like you to put one ounce of simple syrup okay. here and um, uh, one ounce of absinthe. Okay. One ounce of absinthe. And While Andrea's doing that, Mitch. And by the way, if you don't have simple yes. syrup, is it easy to make? Seriously, isn't it just yes, like sugar and water? Sugar and water, okay. yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Yes. Right. What do I, I get to do? So you're going to press one half of a lime okay. in there and half a lemon. All right. And after you do that, you're going to take the basil leaf and you are going to crush them. With this uh, crusher. How about if I do it the right way? How about that usually helps? Oh, yes, yes, that does. Way. Yes, I, you can maybe put a, an extra lime. <laughs> these these things are tricky, Muddle you know? away, Mitch. Yeah, so you want to go really hard okay. on the beating. Okay. You really want to get that nice little yeah. froth, all right? You don't have to tell Jackson <laughs> that to us. <laughs> <laughs> There you well, go. Like All right. in there. No, so yeah, so you can just squeeze the lemon. Right, if it, yeah, that. just squeeze it. Whoops. There you go. We're gonna smell nice and lemony after lemony. this, All right. which is gonna be great. Okay, so we got our lemon juice. Now go ahead and start crushing the basil in Muddling there. Muddling in it there. Yes, right. so you wanna muddle all that. How are you going? How's it going? It's going good. I think, uh, uh you're. So you, you put the absinthe over? and you put the simple syrup. Yes, let me take just, over. I got okay. lemon in my eye. I'm really just gonna, yeah, why this so is the exorcist thing. <laughs> this is, yeah, this, I mean, this is a true workout to really yep. get it frothy. I don't know if you guys ever did this. So I am, uh, I am Chilean. And my mom, just as a snack, she would beat egg whites when I was a kid and um, put some sugar in it, and it was, and that was it. It's like a meringue, so, right? It's like a, yep, a raw meringue. Wow. I used to love it. You know, when I remember, speaking of the original Exorcist, how scary it was. Oh, frightening. And how and everybody music. talks about it. The, mu yes, the music. Yes, no, no kidding. They're saying this new one coming out equally as scary as we showed you a part of that looks terrifying. Yeah, it looks crazy. Yes. All right, okay, I got so, this pretty good. Okay, I want to put some perfect. ice in so Go ahead and put um, two ounces of gin. Yep, two your ice, go ahead. Ice ice. Yeah, that's perfect. Jackson, you do the gin. Yep. Okay. And then two ounces of gin. We have our little right here. Well, I'll just do a hand pour. Awesome. Do it there. So there. And me, yeah. right? Oh, I'm sorry. This is go. for me. Yes. Oh. <laughs> One. There you go. Okay. And now you want to... Do the shake? A shake with the... Uh, yes, right. you want to okay. shake that a little bit, and then we're going to add this. And we're again, it's all in the done. face. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Let's add our little absent mix. Okay. Oh, okay. Go ahead, open it up. Oh. We need to open the whole thing. I know this is a It's always tough oh, when it's... There you go. There you okay, go. now you really want to put it all... Your, let's put another little cup of ice. There you go. Okay. Right. Go ahead and shake that really good. Oh, One more time. I'm going to put this in our exercise yes. cup. Yeah. There you go. go shake that up. All right. Uh, by the way, while we're doing this, you want more information, you can check out the exorcistbeliever.movie if you want to find out. And if you want to be one of the first to check it out, just, just go to our, our socials. socials. Yeah, Daily yeah. Flash TV, and you can see what we can scare up. Again, the website's theexorcistbeliever.movie. Okay. Oh. And now let's try this Here away. We go. So we've got oh, right. Right. So, oh, and doesn't it's... that look pretty? Yes. <gasps> Jackson, you want to try it? It yeah, actually I'll try does. It. I'll try it. So we have another one there, Andrea. Um, all, right. we'll, okay. all right, we'll do a cheers. How about there you grab that one? I got one? it. All right, cheers. Cheers. All right, just like the exorcist, get out. We have more Flash coming up after this. Ooh, it's like key lime pie. You're right. It's got very... Very nice, Yvonne. Such as today's youth, what will you be doing in the year 2024? I'm going to be the best travel agent, always wearing Harry Claus, and be married to Barry Manilow. I'm going to learn the metric system and play Atari all day! I'm going to sell encyclopedias and become president of the United States. Well, guys, I mean, it's on J or we got, we got time, right? Shut, Shut up, man. Matt. Happy 2024 from all of us at Daily Flash. Remember, it's never too late. And to the Republic for which it stands, I love you, Barry. Well, maybe for them it is. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Lured by the chance to make their NFL dreams come true, more than 135 football players moved to Columbus, Ohio, only to find out it was all a scam. 
IMG to kick off to Bishop Sycamore. Do you want my hands like this, like this, like that? <laughs> Just be natural. You don't have to try. Coach Roy Johnson told us they had a number of Division I prospects. Too high tip. Intercepted. Thanks to the pick six. Into the end zone. He'll waltz in. And that will do it. Do I look like a con artist? Well, you'd have to watch the documentary to find out. Max's new documentary, B.S. High, takes a deep and uncomfortable dive into this football scandal. The man at the center of it all is Roy Johnson, who blames the system for letting him do what he did. We want you to sound off on this story, and we want you to go to our socials at Daily Flash TV. Let us know what you think. But we're going to bring our panel hey, let's in. Do this. this is the Daily Flash Roundtable, and we're going to kick it off with Sweet Baby James. Sweet Baby James. Because he's James. had some experience with this whole high school football division football yeah you know it's it's so sad because when you look at the story with Roy Johnson he's he's a total crook I'm sorry I'm going to say it and I'm also going to blame the parents because when you're going through this process I played D1 football Central Michigan University and when you're going through that process you actually have your parents going through the process with you it's a shame that he used loopholes to get through this but the parents are also at fault so you don't get a pass in this I, case I, I disagree I think it's well it's they do uh, hold responsibility but the whole league should look at this the name of the school was BS high Bishop Sycamore high BS high Nobody put the two together. It, it's kind of, it's in the name. Yeah. Like, I, I thought Bishop Sycamore was James's name in college, but, you know, that's what I figured when they were recruiting. But I can't but believe see, they got but away see that. that I was going to say, that's, that's the, that was one of the loopholes. That's why he named it Bishop, Bishop Sycamore. So that was one of the loopholes in Ohio. That's how he got it passed. It's not going to get changed until uh, we put less on athletics and then more on, actually, academics. In the meantime, he's ruined some of these kids' lives yeah. forever with regards to their credit, with their Money reputation, the parents. being able to get into another league, even a junior college. We want you to sound off Flash at DailyFlashShow.com. we got more trending news and entertainment heading your way. But first, we got to check in with our friends at The Daily Buzz right here on Daily Flash. If getting a good night's sleep seems like a pipe dream, a new Herbalife study reveals you're not alone. The most surprising result from the study is that most people don't know how to go about reliably getting a good night of sleep. 55% um, of Americans can't remember the last time they had a perfect night of sleep. And lack of sleep takes a toll on us physically and mentally. There's increased risks of Alzheimer's disease, there's a 30% increased risk of cardiovascular disease with poor sleep, um, depression, and even obesity and, and metabolism. So here are his tips for clocking good Z's. You know, if you, if you do drink alcohol, maybe have it while you're making dinner or with dinner instead of after dinner. Um, maybe instead of having a late night snack, move it closer to dessert time. Um, and there's some simple things like a wind down routine where you dim the lights around the house, uh, maybe have an herbal tea, or, you know, the, the best would be trying to read in bed without looking at your phone. Read the survey and get more wellness tips at Herbalife.com. Planning a vacation isn't always fun and games. 92% of Americans find travel nerve-wracking, and 66% say planning and booking an itinerary is the most daunting part. But it doesn't have to be. We want to eliminate and remove that stress from planning, right? The all-inclusive has really become a popular vacation solution for travelers. We want everything that's included, and when everything is included and taken care of, that means more time for you to enjoy. There's minimal planning, there's more flexibility. And all-inclusive stays these days are a game changer. The narrative is changing. We're seeing an elevated, really reinvented experience. My time here at Mike Caribe has been phenomenal. I'm traveling by myself, which is a luxury, right? And I've been able to enjoy the spa, poolside bingo, and I've taken in a mariachi band, which is absolutely beautiful. And again, I haven't had to leave my resort to do it. Travel to Hilton.com to book your stress-free vacation. What if the frequencies coming from our TVs, Wi-Fi, and microwaves are working against our physical and emotional health? We're noticing we're getting tired, we're getting sleepy, we're getting dizzy or just unfocused. And so with biohacking, we start to realize that, like, what can we do to actually neutralize the effects of the EMF on our body? The solution may be harnessing quantum energy, which exists in everyone and everything. Lila Quantum Tech, it's a company that's on the forefront of quantum energy. So basically, they're using quantum energy to figure out ways how to neutralize the EMF. So you can get a block like this that I have over here. It's like the infinity block. You put it in your house, in your office, 
office, you know, in your business, and it neutralizes the EMFs uh, in your space up to a mile away. So it's super simple. There's nothing really uh, that, you know, like a 25 minute morning routine that you need to do to actually feel the benefits uh, of the quantum block. Get more info at lilaq.com. According to iStock's visual GPS research, over 75% of people globally are already using some form of AI technology in their day-to-day -day work. Grant Farhall, Chief Product Officer at iStock, says when using AI, it's all about creating meaningful connections with your audience. Our own research shows that over 40% of small and mid-sized businesses are using AI-generated content for marketing purposes iStock by Getty Images has released a new tool, Generative AI by iStock, which allows businesses to safely turn their creative vision into powerful content. Generative AI by iStock empowers you to create compelling visuals to engage your audience. You can explore using AI with confidence by creating images and then downloading them with a commercial license and iStock's standard legal identification. For more, visit ai.istockphoto.com slash ITT. Follow the Daily Buzz on social media. This is Tim. Tim is all about time. And if you've ever had a chance to look into Tim's cold, dead eyes, you'll see that it's time for you to follow us on social media. Sure, there's 10,000 social sites out there, and we don't have the time to name them all. Seriously, just ask Tim. So take the time to look for Daily Flash TV on your favorite social sites and start following us. That's all the time, Tim. Goodbye. Hey, before we head into the weekend, we'd like to give you our picks for streaming for the weekends, where we tell you, you got to check something out on streaming services. Andrea's going to kick us off. Who do you got? Oh, my pick for this week, the supermodels on Apple TV. When I first was referred to as a supermodel, I was like, why are they calling us this? It wasn't about the hair and the makeup. It wasn't about the fashion. It was about the women. That's what a supermodel is. Supermodels travels back in time to the 1980s when these four women all converged on New York City. Love seeing how George Michael and the video for Freedom launched all of them mm -hmm. into the supermodel stratosphere. This is where she also makes that claim about Oprah kind of dismissed yes. her, so you mm -hmm. want to see her say that as yeah. well. Yeah. All righty. Well, my pick for this weekend, of course, it has to do with wrestling. It's Netflix <laughs> documentary series Wrestlers. OVW is the little engine that could. You get outside of WWE and AEW. Best wrestling in America is taking place right here. You're not you one-on-one -on -one with me? Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> a story professional wrestling organization. New owners and rising stars strive to make an impact beyond the ring. And you guys must be surprised. I'm friends with a former pro wrestler, and I talked to him about it, and he said it is spot on. Did you learn anything? I, yeah. Because I mean, you are my the wrestling Yeah, thing. and the promoters are always a little shady, and, the, you know, they don't Shocking. pay on. Yeah, it's, it's a really... <laughs> hard business to find it legit when you finally get to somewhere like WWE that's an organization because otherwise it's a lot of yeah. backdoor workings. And uh, Mark Miro, one of my friends here, I'd like to find out what he has to say about that. He, he was in the WWF. I got another documentary. This one won't change the world, but it one man oh, story did this. change baseball forever. It's called The Saint of Second Chances. Start at a one, take it to a 10, and if it gets you arrested, we've gone too far. Mike Veck rhymes with Wreck, son of Major League Baseball franchise owner Bill Veck, blows up his father's career. He's exiled from the game he loves, and he spends decades clawing his way back. But it's a great story about yes. family. If, if anything that you see in baseball today to get people to the crowds, mm -hmm. this guy was the originator of it, including the box seats. Like Savannah Bananas, like what they're doing now. The, knowing that, that it's a family thing. It's and this fun. guy worked his way back up. He was given something. Mm -hmm. He tried the disco night, if you ever hear about that. Oh, yeah. Google it. Infamous disco <laughs> night. Info night where it went crazy. That's Back what caused his dad to lose the team. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so he had a, a, a long redemption trail on him. Wow. So there you go. I yeah. love it. Go see it. It's fun. Uh, that does it for the show. Thank you for spending time with us. Yes. For more information on any of today's stories, be sure to visit dailyflashshow.com. Be good, everybody. We'll see you when we look at you. Bye-bye.